All right, this is a product review of a uh, voltage current reference called the DT830, manufactured in China. I just received it today, and I thought we'd put it through its paces, look at the voltage output and the current output versus what we get on my fluke meter. It produces five different voltages, starting at 1.24 volts all the way up to 10 volts, and 14 different uh, current values starting at five microamps and going all up to, all the way up to 100 milliamps. Um, I have the web page from AliExpress where I got this thing. So that's the device, it's a $30 device plus shipping. And that, for that price, it also includes the, uh, the clear plastic case. I think you can get it without the case for about eight bucks less. Um, there's also a website DTA or DT830.com and it has a little bit of information about the device. Um, I haven't been, really been able to find out much about the chip. Uh, they mentioned an S2020A there in the description. I don't know who manufactures it or anything, but they claim that this is a step up from the um, AD584 chip that uh, actually I actually have looked at before and have reviewed before. And that's just a voltage reference. That's this one here. It's extremely precise and um, picked that one up from China. It produces four different voltages starting at 2.5 and going up to 10. Uh, so now we're gonna look at this one, which also generates current. And um, we'll take a look at the device here real quick. So um, yeah, it's fed by a normal USB connection in the back with five volts. I've added the labels myself here. Um, the back two ports are for uh, current output, and then the, the side ports are for voltage output. And the way that you control that is by using these jumpers. Um, there's five voltages controlled by these five jumpers here with the blue base, a, a, a row of two pins. And then the current, there's 14 rows of four pins um, so um, back to the voltage starting on the left it's the uh, 1.24 volt output and then as you move to the right it goes up to the 10 um, and then there's 14 rows for current as I mentioned um, starting with the um, 5 microamps and going all the way up to 100 milliamps on the right and they provide this jumper which is um, 4 pin female and the jumpers, the two pins on the left are connected and the two pins on the right are connected. So when you apply that jumper, you're basically connecting the two forward pins together and you're connecting the two rear pins together in any row front to back. Uh, the center two pins are not connected and that uh, will then send current to these two uh, output ports. Um, yeah, and of course, obviously, if you jump the voltage, that sends the voltage off to the ports on the left, the voltage out ports. Um, I added this label at the bottom because during the video, it's going to be really hard to figure out which pin I'm, I last uh, put the jumper into. So that will hopefully help me do that. Um, yeah, so the um, other device has a button to switch the voltages that uh, yellow board I was just showing, which is very convenient. But this one, you have to move jumpers along. And um, that's how that works. The data sheet that came with it is very nice. They have um, measured versus the expected ranges, the actual ranges that they um, measured with uh, Tektronics digital multimeter. And they give you that, they give you the temperature, um, the percentage off from the expected nominal ranges. Um, they're all very close, um, but it's great to have these high precision actual measurements. The other side of the sheet, are the instructions and um, yeah, I couldn't read them but I did put the instructions um, or actually scanned them with my um, cell phone and Google Translate translated them uh, making it making it readable um, really the only thing I needed to know was where's the current which one's the voltage and so uh, the, it did mention the voltage on the left the currents on the back and the voltage in is back here with the USB connection that was pretty obvious so uh, as well as saying that the 14 rows of pins are for current and then these five rows here of pins are for voltage. So uh, it's a pretty simple device. You don't need a whole lot of instructions to understand it. Um, okay, so 
see we looked at that and the way that we're going to do this is I've got these spec sheets scanned in here let me see if I can bring that up yeah so these are the these are the sheets I was just showing you so what I'll do is I'll put the camera down and then we'll watch the multimeter and we'll compare it to what's expected on those measurement sheets let's see yeah, something like that and I'll uh, move along here with the uh, jumper pins outside of the camera range because it's kind of hard to do all this uh, while watching it. We're in the volt DC. We're going to start with volts. Let me just uh, make sure we're zeroed. Okay, that's good enough. So now I'm going to plug these into the ports on the left side, which is the voltage output. There we go. And we'll start with the first jumper, which is the one point two four volt output. So now we're on this row here. It says to expect one point two three eight, and we're getting one point two three eight zero two. They've got one one. That's kind of outside of the. Um, all right. So what we're, we're off by a tenth of a millivolt, right, compared to what they would expect. So that's pretty good. Um, going to the next one, 2.5 range, 2.50168, 2.5013 or 4, so off by uh, 3 tenths of a millivolt, 4 tenths of a millivolt, something like that. Next one. Five volt range five zero zero two zero six. So fourteen versus twenty, so we're off by six tenths of a millivolt. This could be on my multimeter, by the way, it hasn't been calibrated, so seven point five volt range, um seven point four nine eight, seven point four nine seven. Four seven four versus uh, eight two, so that's about eight tenths of a millivolt off. I will say, however, that when I when I ran the uh, fluke against this thing, uh, it was spot on. So even though it hasn't been calibrated, I have some high degree of confidence in this fluke meter. And then the ten volt range, which is on another sheet, I bring that up. That's this sheet here. 10 volt expect 9.9955, 9.9950, 9 so that's 5 tenths of a millivolt off. So overall, pretty respectable results um, compared to the fluke. Now we're going to move on to current. I'm going to switch my uh, multimeters probes, switch to milliamps, plug the leads into the back of this DT830. That's where we get the current output. And I'm going to start with uh, on the right with a 100 milliamp output. Since we've got this sheet up already. So that's here, 100 milliamps. 99.744. 99.72. Let's see if I can get any more resolution on this. 99.732, 99.744. So, um, what's that? 80 microamps? Yeah, something like that. Going to the next pin. 50 milliamps. Here we go. 49.876, and I'm getting 49.871. 874, it's getting closer. 872, that's like four microamps off. It's a tiny difference. Down to the next pin. And that's on the next sheet. So close this one, jump over here. I think that's 25, yeah, down here. 
24.938 expected. I'm getting 24.936, 937. Looks great. The differences are in the microamps. Go to the next pin if I'm getting that right. 10 milliamp range, 9.971, say 9.970, 9.971. I'm getting 9.972. That's terrific. Okay. Down to the next pin. Let's see. I think that's the right pin. Five milliamps. Four point nine nine three. I'm getting four point nine nine two to four. Yeah, very, very close. Now down to the 2.5 pin, that's uh, 9, here we go, 2.4915, 2 2.4915, 2 or 8.8, 8.3, eight. microamps off. It was 491, 489, yeah, looks good, next pin, Two point four, I think, now I jumped to the 1, uh, 0.9967, 0.99, Four. There again, and oh, there's a six. <laughs> Looks good. Going to the seventh pin. This is hard. I apologize if I missed one. You're getting the idea, I think. Next is 500 microamps, half a milliamp. Four nine eight eight. I'm getting four nine six four nine eight. Okay. Four nine nine. Looks good. So now we're getting down into the microamps, very low ranges, and let's see what happens here. Ah, uh, looks like I skipped over a pin. Let me move that back. Let's see, to the sixth pin. Too many pins. I'm back to the 249. 249, okay, 249, 248. So that's a quarter of a milliamp. One, two, three, four, the fifth pin, next one down. Should be the hundred microamp. There it is. Ninety-nine point seven five. Now I'm getting a hundred. Ninety-nine. Okay. Looks pretty good so far. So this is the, now the fourth pin from the left. So we're getting close to the end. This would be 50 microamps. They got 49. They've got a lot more digits than me. Yeah, this is getting down into this fluke meters uh, noise, I think. 49 still looks good. Go to the next pin. Third one is 25 microamps. They're expecting 24.9. They got 24. Jumping around a little bit, 25. Looks great. Two pins to go. Thanks for your patience with this. And on the 10 microamps, 9.9. I've got 8. 11. Yeah. I'm not sure how. I haven't even looked at the specs for the uh, 
Fluke 8842A for this low level of uh, current, but it's doing a pretty good job, I must say. <laughs> Surprising. All right, last pin. Five microamps right here. And showing five on the Fluke, four. Expect 4.98. So there you go, it's uh, overall, um, yeah, I think a, a, a decent review. I think we're down at these uh, microamp, single digit microamp levels that uh, we're kind of pushing the, pushing the limits of this Fluke multimeter, which is decades old, by the way. <laughs> um, so there you have it for 30 bucks. It does a pretty good job. By the way, in order to achieve these um, accurate current uh, levels, what they have is a very precise row of resistors there with a, a purple precision marker. So I think that's they're all 0.1% resistors. So they have a tight control of the voltage and then tight control of the resistance. That gives them a tight control of the output current. Plus they provide the spec sheet of the actual measurements with the temperatures and so forth. So. Um, Seems like a good little device for 30 bucks. All right. Thanks for your patience. It's a long video. Thanks for watching.